at that. Hey gang, welcome to the Arcs Experience. I'm your host, Ali Mukdad, and today we're gonna be discussing cannabidiol. Hey man, you wanna go get high, man? Uh, relax, CBD doesn't get you high. Oh, bummer, man. And uh, do me a favor, get rid of the, the stoner voice, it's a little cliche, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I thought you, thought you wanted a cliche stoner. I can totally use my normal voice. Yeah, calm those nuts a bit, okay? But wait, what's CBD? So CBD, cannabidiol, good question, Mr. Potleaf. Um, CBD is, I forgot what CBD is. <laughs> I don't know what the f it is. CBD is a cannabinoid, a chemical compound that's found in the cannabis plant, along with other compounds such as THC or tetrahydrocannabinol. And what's your, what's your, what do you want? What do you want? Stop looking at me. So I don't understand. What's the difference between THC versus uh, CBD? So the difference between CBD and THC is CBD is non-psychoactive. Yeah, so CBD acts on your endocannabinoid system. What the f is the endocannabinoid system? The endocannabinoid system is a master regulator and signaling related to how we rest, eat, sleep, our inflammation response, our pain response. It's in the brain and in your fingers in your everywhere. So there's two compounds that our body makes naturally, anandamide and two arachidonoglycerol. What? Okay, <laughs> I know. Those are all huge words. Look them up. So the two most well-known exogenous cannabinoids are CBD and THC. This is some good shit, okay? So CBD is used for pain, insomnia, inflammation, anxiety, stress. I'm fucking anxious right now. There's too much in here, I can't fucking do it. There's too much. Hey man, just 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 calm down, calm down. Like, hey hey, you know what? Just chill out, man. Just try some of the CBD oil. It'll mellow you right out. Give me some. I need some. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. All right. It's coming. I'm waiting. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I can't. Oh no no no. Here it is. I feel it. I need help. Okay. Here it is. Oh yeah. You good? I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go get f up now. Oh, it feels great. So this is preclinical. There is no clinical evidence that actually does work for these indications. So Epidiolex is the only approved CBD product on the market right now that you can get with a prescription. And it's marketed for epilepsy, but it's FDA approved and it's indicated for treatment of Lennox Gastaut syndrome. Lennox Gast Lennox Dravet syndrome and tuberous sclerosis complex. So there's many different ways you can consume or use CBD. You can smoke it or vaporize it. That has a really quick onset, usually within seconds to minutes. You can ingest it, any chocolates, candies, brownies, gummies, and then also there's topical formulations, roll-ons, rub-ons, lotions, gels, creams, ointments. You can put them on your face, your elbows, in between the crevice of your and your so common short-term potential adverse effects. Here's a list of them. Bam. And also there's contraindications and precautions you should take if you're pregnant or if you're lactating and there's milk coming out of your nipples and it's going into the baby and they're too much baby right now and they can't handle the CBD. And don't smoke this shit. If you have COPD or you have asthma, don't do it, please. Look at all these, just ask your doctor. They know everything, they, sh they should know. And now we're gonna welcome back our guest, the one and only Dr. Aaron Levesque. Thanks for having me back on the show, Dr. Mukdad. I hope today you'll let me talk for once. So a common question that I get about CBD is the THC Oh, uh, Actually, Aaron, um, you, can, you can just off today. Come on, man, really? You don't know about this topic. Get the off. Instead, we're gonna have a special guest, the manufacturing expert, Justin Pullen. So, let's get into it. What exactly do you do? Well, my name is Justin Pullen. I'm a hemp farmer. Uh, we farm hemp here in the state of Michigan. Uh, this is Gene, this is Mark. They're with Lit Labs, and they're processors. So, like, what safety measures do you guys take to ensure your product's quality? 
We take a lot of safety measures, everything from the growing practices to the nutrients we use uh, to vetting the genetics from the cannabinoid profile down to the terpenes. That's interesting. Do you think that there's any contaminants that the consumer should be worried about? We have no heavy metal toxicity. We're not using any kind of pesticides or any cancer-causing carcinogens that will end up in the end product. And then once it comes to us, we go ahead and we do some third-party testing to make sure the materials coming over is clean. The solvents that we use to extract uh, normally being ethanol uh, are all food grade and made huh. sure that okay. by the time that their residuals are removed, that it's good for the end product or for the consumer. That's interesting. All right, thank you for your time. Now get the f out. And now our Q and A, baby. First question from John A. If I use CBD, can I test positive for marijuana? Yes you can potentially test positive. Really? Because you're allowed to have up to 0.3% of THC. Some manufacturers say that there isn't any, but I mean, who knows? Question number two from Key Chef R. If I shove CBD up my would it calm my down? It's actually a good question, Key Chef. You can go yourself, number one. Number two, CBD suppositories are actually available. Question number three from John B. Is there anything other than CBD or THC that I could use to support my endocannabinoid system? I mean, there's a bunch of that you can do. There's a lot of herbs, spices, chocolate, Camellia sinensis, that was in the weight loss episode. Go check it out. Also, a healthy diet is important, especially when it comes to omega-3 fatty acids, because omega-3 fatty acids are the building blocks for your natural endocannabinoids. Well, we're done for today. I guess that's it. Be happy, be healthy, and be well. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hear this. I can't shoot. Let me see it.